Nintendo's go-to mascot has already played tennis, golf, kart racing, and has even thrown in some crazy parties. It seems that Nintendo was running out of sports to play. Enter the summer of 05, and Mario Superstar Baseball was introduced to the mix. This arcade-style baseball game is a joy to play with its fast-paced action and accessible controls. As a Nintendo-influenced sports game, there are obviously twists within the gameplay. Some fields have certain hazards that can help either team. Instead, I always chose the generic stadium because I don't like to have any of these random variables. I'm here to play baseball. The controls can be child-friendly. If you're playing with a young lad, you can make fielding and running automatic and only allow them to hit. This neat feature will help keep little Johnny engaged as he enjoys America's favorite pastime. The roster in this game is loaded and there are four types of characters. There's balance, technique, speed, and power. I was never great at hitting home runs, so I always stuck with the balance and speedy characters with a defensive mindset. Let me give you the rundown of some of the characters and who they are in the MLB. Mario is Derek Jeter. He can do everything. He's quick enough to steal a base, he has enough power to hit a couple of homers, he's a great fielder. You can put him at shortstop and he will not disappoint. Waluigi, the best pitcher in the game, is obviously Randy Johnson with his long old legs, plus he's a lefty. DK uses his punching bag to hit bombs. Since it's a punching bag, his contact window is a lot smaller, so it's easier to strike out, but when he hits it, you better believe it's going out of the park. I like putting DK at right field because he has a cannon and can throw runners out. Donkey Kong is Adam Dunn. On to the big guy, Bowser. He's the best hitter in the game, not only due to his power, but his contact window as well. Big Poppy comes to mind when playing as Bowser. He actually kind of looks like Bowser. Diddy Kong is the best center fielder in the game. Well, the best fielder in general. If you want a reliable guy who can cover ground and never drop balls, Diddy is your guy. He's the Tory Hunter of Mario Baseball. Everyone's favorite green dinosaur. Yahoo! Mike can test Diddy for center field, but his fielding skills aren't as reliable. He's more prone to dropping balls and his arm strength is not as good, but he is faster than Diddy. Yoshi is the best leadoff hitter in the Mushroom Kingdom. I like to call him Yoshi Altuve. I can keep going with the comparisons, but let's get back to the game. There's this star feature where you can use certain characters' power-ups for either pitching or hitting. For example, if you use Mario's star ability, it turns the ball into a fireball and it prevents the opponent from catching a fly ball. I typically turn this feature off because there are enough arcade elements to begin with. It's great that Nintendo gives you the ability to turn this feature on and off. The game gets even deeper when you factor in chemistry. The characters of the Mushroom Kingdom remember their history, so Peach will throw the ball faster and more accurate to Toad and Daisy, but will throw an awful ball to Bowser. This means when you build your roster, you're going to have to factor in how these characters connect from a relationship perspective. Let that be a lesson to you youngins, baseball is a team sport. There are some secret characters to unlock, which you can unlock through Challenge Mode, where you pick a captain and build up your team to the point where you can face Bowser. This is the Story Mode of Mario Baseball. You go around a map facing various challenges and going through certain in-game scenarios that will eventually improve the attributes of every character in the game, once you unlock their stars. The stars are basically mini-challenges that include things like striking someone out, winning an MVP, completing various tasks and mini-games, and even hitting a grand slam. If you're getting sick of baseball, there are also mini-games to keep you occupied. bomb -omb Derby is a home run derby where there's a slot machine of different style pitches. Wall Ball is a pitching match where you need to adjust your power to hit brick walls that get you more points. If you hit the Bowser wall though, you're going to lose points. In Piranha Panic, you throw corresponding eggs with the right colored piranha plant. There are also bombs that can hit you, I didn't really understand it. I didn't really have fun with this one. When you play Barrel Batter, you have to hit a bunch of barrels and whatever colors are connected explode. This tests your timing as a batter and it helps you figure out when to swing early, late, or on time because it correlates to where the ball ends up. Stardash is another Mario Party inspired game. You just run around the field collecting coins, but there are also power-ups like mushrooms and stars to allow for faster running and you can run into your opponents to make them lose their coins. You're doing all of this while avoiding hazards. It can get pretty hectic. 
All in all, the mini games are okay, not great. Bomb Bomb Derby is fun with a couple of friends though. If you want a great party experience in Mario Baseball, I recommend Toy Field Mode. This is the Mario Party version of Mario Baseball. It's a lot of fun if you have four friends playing together. You can only choose one character and you alternate hits. Every hit you get lands on a certain outcome, like a single or a double. Pending how many RBIs, home runs, strikeouts, and hits you get, you get a certain amount of coins. Whoever gets the most coins at the end wins it all. Nintendo made a deep baseball game, and this is one of my favorite sports games. Baseball is supposed to be a slow and boring sport, but Nintendo turned it into a fast-paced, action-packed experience. As said earlier, this was released in 05, so you would assume it's outdated, but I still had fun playing it today. It still holds up tremendously if you want to take a break from a simulation-style game like MLB The Show. Don't sleep on Mario Baseball. Yeah!